All right, hey housemate friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to be doing a huge plant haul. I'm going to be telling you about all the plants I purchased in September of 2023, and I'm also going to be telling you how much I spent. Before we get started, thank you so much Zimp for sponsoring this video. Zimp is where I get all of my really cute glasses, and this is the Rhea pair. It's like a tortoiseshell with a little cat eye. And sorry if they're a little dirty, I do in fact use my glasses. So they do get marks on them, but I love Zimf. And if you wanna check out their glasses, make sure you use code Ashley at checkout. And then also inside the description down below, and then also in my link tree, I have a link to my Zimf's favorites page where you can go through and see literally all of my favorite glasses. So all of the glasses that you see me wear in videos, you can just access easily right there. And then there's a reminder about the coupon code at like the top. Yeah, thank you so much Zimf for sponsoring this video and let's go ahead and get back into the content. Back in 2021 and 2022, I was filming videos called what I bought and how much I spent. And I don't know if I'm gonna call this that just because I don't really feel like that title ever got any traction, but I am gonna be showing you every single plant I bought and or was given um, because I do get gifted a lot of plants because I have a lot of people who love me. So I'm gonna show you all the plants I purchased and then also all the plants that I was given. And I'm gonna tell you how much they were. I'm gonna tell you the total and then I have notes and things thoughts because I'm a little disappointed in myself. I will get into that part later, but we're gonna start with the haul first and then we're gonna work our way into the prices of the plants. Let's go ahead and get into it. There are five plants I have technically already shown you in this list. So I'm going to show you those plants last. I included them in my last houseplant haul but that was all the way at the beginning of this month, I think. There are 17 plants here I haven't shown you, and then I'll show you five um, after that. All right, and there's a lot of plants. So I'm just gonna go in order of what I wrote them down in. This is not my purchase order. So the first one I'm gonna show you is this very thirsty cutting. I forgot to water this. It's not my fault. I was in surgery for like the last week. Okay, I was in recovery mode, but this is a pink princess cutting I purchased for $10. I got this from Rootbound Boise. It's a brand new local shop and the pink on the leaf is just so bright. It's actually getting like washed out now. Like it's a really lighter pink than it was before. It was kind of like a hot pink, but I, it's in really bright light right now. So it's getting a little bit washed out and the leaves are a little floppy because I need to water them. But other than that, it's really, really cute. It's actually also pushing out a new leaf already, which is pretty wild. And I picked this plant because the pink color was gorgeous and I purposefully wanted to support this new business. So I don't always buy plants when I go places, but I always make sure that the first time I go to a new plant shop, if it's local to the area and not like a franchise, I always try to buy something just to show that like I wanna support the business. And this was the cheapest thing there that I loved. I did resist buying a $400 elbow. It was huge. It was massive. It was like four and a half feet tall, you guys. You don't even get it. You don't get it. The next one I got was a gift. And this is a Alocasia fry deck. And it's really cute. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. We got this at the Zamzos in Nampa. I think it's the one that's connected to their main corporate office but this is gorgeous. And my mom also got one of these. I'm gonna film a my mom's plant haul video later. I don't wanna include it in this one because there's too much. It would be like over an hour long of a video and it would just be way too much, so. But yeah, this is my fry deck. And this is the newest leaf, this one. So it went from all white to almost all green with a little bit of like white flecking on it. Very excited. And it's also very pregnant and I need to get this in a better cloche. Right now it is, I keep it on a, on a cake platter, a flat cake platter that doesn't have a stand that has a cake dish that goes over it. And it's just barely short enough that it doesn't um, touch the leaves. <laughs> but it is, I don't have I don't have an adequate situation for this right now. My mom's is way smaller and it fits in uh, one of these little jars. But yeah, a little variegated fry deck. Paradiso Verde. This is actually probably one of the only purchases I am not totally in love with. And I think it 
you can kind of tell just because of the care. I haven't like done anything to repot it yet. I haven't done anything to make it cute or like my own. There were these Paradiso Verdes in my town. Uh, I mean, I think in everywhere. They were going for like really, really cheap. And sometimes people were finding kind of like Albo variegated Paradiso Verdes. And I wanted to go try to find one. So I found one and then I bought it. It's $7.50. Like a $7 for a plant is just so absolutely fundamentally inconsequential. And this is my favorite leaf. I know I keep showing it to you, but like that leaf specifically, goals. That's so gorgeous. I love it. But I desperately need to repot this and then like stake it on something. I was thinking about staking it around my Monstera actually, or around my fiddly fig, because then maybe it can like climb up another plant. Maybe that'd be cute. Okay, the next one I wanna tell you about is Thai. So I finally purchased a Monstera Thai constellation and I got this for $25 and this is actually two plants. <laughs> my mom purchased the other one that's in here for me and this is, oh my gosh, look at that root. Look at that fuzzy root sticking out of the bottom. Oh my gosh, it's doing so good. Oh yay, I love planting things in water bottles. And then you like cut some holes in the bottom, dude. Oh my God, amazing. I purchased this one. So it's got this pretty leaf and then this pretty leaf right here. And then this little one. So it's pretty sectoral. And uh, the other one was just like pretty and my mom decided to be sweet. It was also, I think $25. But this is my first Thai constellation and we're gonna go on a long, long life journey together. And we're gonna do so much and it's gonna be so much fun, but I'm sorry, but look at that freaking root. Look at that fuzzy root. I am keeping this one in a jar. So it goes in here. It's having a really good time as far as I can tell. And then I just put the little lid on and it's fun because I feel like a witch. I feel like a witch growing my plants in jars. I think I only feel like that because for some reason in my head, witches keep eyeballs and hearts in jars and I keep plants in jars. So we're like kind of connected like that. The next one I wanna show you is my Epipremnum Panatum Alba Variegata. And this is one that I have been wanting to get for a while. I just really didn't wanna spend the money on it. And so Devin just gave me one. We love Devin. Look at this specific. One. So there's a couple plants in here, but this one plant, it's literally like two whole half moons. And he just gave this to me for free. He was like, please take it. I, I freaking hate it. Get it out of my house. And I said, okay. I always go over there and he's like, do you want this? And I'm like, I will literally take cuttings of anything that you want to give me because I have no plants. I have plants now. I have, I think, sufficiently rebuilt my plant collection <laughs> before I didn't. And then there's this big long stem, which is more green. Still has some color on it here and there but uh, it's definitely more green. But this one, this one right here is like the money. Like look at these two freaking leaves. Are you serious? That's so adorable. Then I think I just said, but this one's free. I did not pay for it. The next one is my Monstera Deliciosa Aurea cutting, which I also have been keeping in a big jar. I've been keeping it in this jar to be specific. I've been keeping it in a jar because I don't have a place to put it right now, but I, I don't want it to get like root rot and I don't want it to get uh, like, I don't know, I just, I, I want it to be good. It was in water, but then I was like, I don't know if I trust water, but it doesn't look like the ends of the roots are doing actually too well in there. So I'll probably have to figure out a different situation. I haven't rooted a Monstera in a while, so I'm kind of a noob. This is the cutting. And Devin actually cut his Monstera Aurea at the same time when I got this Epipremnum Panatum Albo. Uh, but he cut his Aurea because he wasn't loving it anymore. Well, that's not true. He loves it, but he wasn't vibing with it as much as he could be. So he cut it down and then sold it. Um, and then he kept the top cut and then one middle cut that he was in love with. And then the bottom cut that was super, super gorgeous. Um, and then he gave me this and you can kind of see the ends are not doing good. So I'm actually gonna take it out of this situation and we're gonna put it in something else. Um, I'm not sure what. I'm just not like super phenomenal, you guys, at like rooting things because I never have to do it. I just stick things in moss. And then when this happens, I don't know what the hell to do. So I'll figure it out. You can leave me some advice if you want but this has a bunch of different colors the back of the leaf is also very gorgeous like there's so many different colors and it's nice and i'm gonna grow up big and tall and strong and it's gonna be a really really big pretty plant i'm excited and i love the line that runs down the middle 
I love it when uh, variegated monsteras have that. And since we're in this jar, I'm going to take out the other plant that has been in here, which is my philodendron Spiritus Sancti. <laughs> Amazing. This thing got its own video, which didn't get a whole lot of views. So maybe you haven't seen it. It's actually giving a new leaf. I got it and then I put it in a jar and I gave it this plant supplement from Urban Gardener called Super Growth Elixir. And then four and a half days later, it started giving me a new leaf and it's been about a week since then and it's coming out. So I'm super excited. I have wanted one of these for years and years and years. I, oh, I forgot to tell you, I paid $35 for this Aurea. This Spiritus Sancti, I paid $94.75 for. I love it, it's so cute, it's so small. I love that leaf, that one's like the most mature leaf so far and the one that the baby's coming out of. So I've been keeping this in a jar just to like maintain its humidity and so far it seems to like it. So, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep the Monstera out of there. The ends of its roots aren't happy, but that's that's an easy fix. We can just cut that off. I wonder how I should root, maybe I'll just like chuck it in moss and like, like a chunky aeroid mix and then just make sure I'm watering it. It's already rooted, so it's not like I need to root it. I just need, I should probably just plant it. Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> I took it and it was like, oh, hi. She's just sitting there. Hi. Mojito Syngonia. This is actually one of my favorite new plants. It's gorgeous. Devin also didn't want this. He gave this one to me for free. This is the Mojito Syngonia I got. You can tell he definitely didn't love it because he just kind of like let it do whatever it wants. It's actually healthy. It's just really dry. It just needs water. And it's putting out three new leaves right now. But I love this Syngonium. It's a variegated Syngonium because of the green on green variegation which is like my favorite. I am such a huge fan of yellow and green variegation together and then also green on green variegation. I just feel like there's something about it that just hits so different and I don't know why, but yeah, every single one of these is putting out a new leaf right now and there's three plants in here, maybe four. No, yeah, there's three big ones. And one of them like kind of reverted, but then the new leaf came in and it's like a half moon and it's like half mojito and half green and then that one's pregnant. We'll see what it's gonna do because I didn't know these could revert. Are you just gonna cry back there? She went all the way back into the corner, stared up at the wall like this, and then just cried. <sighs> but yeah, look at these. They're so pretty. I'm super excited about this. This is one of the only uh, Syngonium that's like a part of like, people will have like the Faustena, the Aurea, the Albo, the Red Spot Tricolor, uh, the Red Splash, and then they'll also have this one. So this is like the only one of those I didn't have, except for, I think the only one I really want now that is attainable is the Syngonium Winlandii, which I know they're selling at Zamzo's for $7, but I don't want to buy one. I would like a scrambled egg. I think those ones are really cool. And obviously it's the yellow and green variegation, but those ones are still expensive. So I haven't bought one, but yeah, the Mojito Syngonium was free. Devin just gave it to me because he hates it. Okay, the next one I'm gonna show you is this one. It's so cute. This is a Philodendron Gloriosum. I think zebra. It's either zebra or zebrina. Uh, there's different types of gloriosums. It's not variegated in case you thought maybe it would be. It, it, is, it isn't. And it's putting out a giga new leaf right now. So I'm really, really, really excited about that. And it's actually growing out of a catafil now. So it is not coming out of the, like the most recent leaf, which is super cool. Super pretty. I paid $20 for this and I posted into my Facebook group and I was like, I would like a Glorios. Um, does anybody have one that they're killing that I can just like have? And, or does anybody have one for like really cheap? And I got a bunch of people like trying to sell me nodes for like 20 or $30. And then this one girl messaged me and she was like, hey, I have like this huge plant, but and it's not huge as in size, but like there's just like a lot going on. She's like, hey, I have this one for like 20 if you want it. Like, I'm just not really loving it anymore. And you seem like you really want one. And I was like, yes, I would absolutely love it. It is so pretty. I love it. These are the ones that get that like pink center and they have the super, super blister variegation -y leaves. I cannot wait to see this new leaf right here. Like, I cannot wait. I'm so excited. Ah, 
Gloriosum, I got it for $20 and uh, all the Gloriosums in my town, if you wanna buy one from Zamzos, which is like the cheapest place to get one, it's like 70. $70 for one that's about this big and they're not this type. They're a different type of Gloriosum or like $50. And I don't know why Gloriosum are randomly so expensive, but they just are. The next one I'm gonna show you is also in a jar and there's a couple plants in here I have to show you. Two of these are teeny tiny Monstera Oblica cuttings that Devin gave me for free. I asked him when I was there, he's like, is there anything else you really want? And I was like, I'm only really looking for Oblica because I have one in Arizona, but it got left there and I don't know when I'm gonna get it. So if you had one, that'd be super cool. And he was like, I have some runners. And then he found two that had sprouted. I'm just trying to pull them out here, sorry. He found two that had sprouted. So here's one. And these are Monstera Oblica Peru. So they're super tiny, I'm so excited. And then um, this one. This one's actually just unfurling its leaf, starting to unfurl its leaf. And it gave me this root. This didn't have a root when I got it. It was just a stem. Then he gave me a baggie of runners that he didn't want. One of them has definitely sprouted and is growing, uh, growing in, but it's just like a bunch of oblique runners. He was like, these never grow in. And I was like, oh, well I grew mine in from a runner. And then he like looked in his box and he was like, oh, Cool. This is actually one of my like favorite plants. I don't know why. I didn't like them when they were popular. I liked them after it kind of became popular. I think it was like around the same time that I randomly started liking Monstera Adansonii variegata. I really just had to say I'm different. I also bought two variegated micans cuttings and one of them is variegated and one of them is not, but I'll explain that in a second. Oh, it's doing so good. I'm so excited. These are the two that I bought. So here's one, just a teeny, teeny, teeny little bit of variegation on there. This one has none. And I actually purchased a different variegated micans than this one. Um, and I originally play, paid $95 for both, which sounds like a lot, but variegated micans are one of the plants right now that are still relatively expensive because of the fact that they're just like, they're newer to the plant market in general. I am completely in love with this plant. Like the one that I have is just doing so good and it's super variegated and I love it. Um, and it's got that nice yellow variegation. I'm not a fan of the pink. I really don't like the pink micans. But Hadley is who I bought this from and she's local she accidentally gave me the wrong cutting the one that i purchased from her was actually super super variegated she gave me a discount of like 30 dollars because she sent me the wrong one and she lives an hour away so um and i'm still recovering from my surgery so i'm not going to be doing that drive just real quick admire these roots admire the roots and her plant is where my original cutting came from this one which has a huge new leaf. I'm so excited to see it harden. And uh, her plant would make variegated leaf, unvariegated leaf, variegated leaf, unvariegated leaf. And these were both from the unvariegated side. So both of these put out highly variegated leaves, the next one, like the next leaf that they made when they were on the plant. And the stems are super variegated. She told me that honestly, like the best way to buy variegated micans is to buy reverted ones that have some potential, like some kind of potential for becoming variegated again, because her hers her variegated micans she purchased as reverted hers that she keeps and doesn't sell the cuttings of uh is like huge and gorgeous and perfect and wonderful so excuse me my throat's like all fucky it's really really nice so anyways i just had to fit everything back in there uh so ultimately i paid i think 65 dollars for um, both of those cuttings, which is like half of the price of what you would pay on Facebook for one that's hardly variegated. So I'm personally really happy with that. And uh, it's sad that I didn't get the one that I actually liked, but I told her that it's a sign and it's gonna become perfect. And it was the one that I was meant to have because that's just what I have to believe. <laughs> Cause I don't wanna drive an hour, like a week after surgery to go and get the other one. So the next one we're gonna talk about is the Florida Beauty. Uh, which is this one. And I'm obsessed with this. I purchased this locally, almost all, I think all of these I got locally. Buying locally is great because then you don't have to pay for shipping. You don't have to worry about shipping. And uh, usually you can find things for a better price local to you if you just wait. Like I'm a serious DM shopper. Like if I see something that I think is really cool, instead of responding on the post, I'll DM them. Do you have a dying one of those you, you can give me? Or do you have a dying one of those I can buy? But this is a Florida Beauty. I posted again in my 
my local group that I was looking for a Florida beauty to grow in because it's one of my favorite plants and it's one of the only ones I haven't had since 2021. I had a gorgeous one that I had been growing for years from Botanicas. The cute hot girl depression moment really caught up with me. So she cut off the top cut, which she had like air layered and everything. And then she had this bottom cut and then she was gonna sell each of the leaves for like a certain amount. Like she was gonna cut these ones as well and then sell them. But she was like, if you want the whole thing, because that's kind of what I was like alluding to, she said that she could do it for 70. So, or 75, I can't remember. What did I write down? 75, which is a crazy price because normal Florida beauty leaves, even like reverted ones, locally and on Facebook, hardly sell for less than $95. So, and I sent this to a couple of my friends and I was like, what do you think? Should I do it? Cause I was like, I don't want to spend, cause this was one of the, the last purchases I made. And I think it was actually the last one I had my mom go pick up for me because I bought these before my surgery. And then I had my surgery. <laughs> my cute hot girl emergency gallbladder surgery. Uh, so my mom went and had to go do pickups for me. But, um, oh gosh, look at that leaf. <laughs> I don't remember what I was saying. Oh, I sent the photo to my friends and I was asking them if it was worth it because it was one of the most, like I, I didn't really want to spend more money on plants but I really wanted one of these. And just to get one cutting of these that's like barely rooted is like 85 to hundred dollars. Cause the Flobies are always cool. Like they've never gone out of style. They've always been popular. So I pulled the trigger and I'm really happy that I did. Actually, I'm super excited because a actual whole plant that's completely rooted in everything for $75, are you kidding me? I'm excited, I love it. And I'm really happy with that one. The next one I got is the Plow Manii. And I just purchased this one, I think like yesterday. And I got this for $14.99, local to me. And oh my God, is that leaf not totally gummy? It just looks so edible. It looks like a gummy bear. Like. Oh, it's so good. I love Plow Mania leaves for the fact that they literally just look so yummy. Like I want to eat it. It just, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like the begonia species Temuyuk. It looks like a blue gummy bear and I just, I want to eat it. It's also preggy. Hashtag relatable. Yeah, I got this yesterday at Zamzo's for $14.99. And I'm really happy with this because I have been trying to grow Palm Manii since I got into plant collecting. I would buy them uh, and then have them shipped to me. And then they'd always die in shipping. I don't know why, they're just like really delicate or the people ship them poorly, but um, it was never in the cards for me. And so I saw one for $14. I think the last time I purchased one of these, it was like $150 <laughs> back in the day, if you know what I mean. So that was just awesome. And I'm, I'm sorry that look at that leaf is so good it's so pillowy i'm completely obsessed i'm obsessed i'm obsessed um oh they also have like fruffly petioles which is really cool all uh, right then the next one i got was where's the other one i paid oh okay it's up there i did not purchase this one my mom purchased this one philodendron pasta xanum silver and i mean this thing is humongous this new leaf that's coming in, it doesn't even know what to do with itself. This was $7.99 and uh, my mom threw this in with her checkout items when she was checking out. I planned to purchase this. I did not know she was going to buy this for me, but I love pasta. I love pasta. People call them pasta. They're like, I need pasta. Um, I've always loved pasta Xanums, but I've never been super into them until I saw the silver variety. And then I was like, oh, actually, you know what that is? That is kind of nice. Uh, so, seven dollars seven dollars and 99 cents for one of these now these were at least three to four hundred dollars a year and a half ago it's fine it's fine spending all our life savings on plants two years ago then we have one that my mom did tell me she was going to buy me and this is a ring of fire this is 17.99 and it's fucking gorgeous like this thing is actually so mesmerizing and amazing it's got amazing white and cream and pink and orange and this was i don't know if i just said it or not but this was 17.99 and i did not pay for this <sighs> i'll tell you what though i did walk away from a 66 dollars 15 leaf standaliana aurea monstera at the same zamzos i was losing my mind over it it was simply too much this is so gorgeous though oh my gosh I'm really glad I didn't buy one of these the other day at a different Zamzos. There was one that was way less pretty and it was $2 more expensive. But then this shipment that Zamzos got was just 
I mean like superb. It was I think I just have two more to show you of the new plants. I bought this Monstera Deliciosa Albo. And this was this was a treat. So I saw this on Facebook. So this is I think the only plant I didn't purchase locally. It's really not coming through on camera, like how pretty it is. But it is it is a very green one. It's like I'm not gonna be like, oh it's super like colorful but i'm personally not a huge fan of the more white sectoral ones i just because i like my plants to also like grow i am a fan of it when it's more marbled in and this elbow i kind of like took a chance on because it actually originally was a reverted top cut so like these leaves down here bottom two are completely green and they were a cutting that this guy a year and a half ago took off of his elbow it was completely reverted completely and then it started coming back through with color got really colorful again well like you know really colorful and it's still not doing as much as he wants it to so he sold it and he sold it for $80 so I paid $80 for this it has one two three four five six seven eight leaves and it is incredibly pregnant with another the variegation on the stem is only increasing so it's only getting more variegated I'm really excited to see what this new leaf is going to be doing that's gonna come out of that that leaf right there but oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. And I know you can't really see the variegation very well right now with the lighting. It's really overcast today and I'm using indoor lighting to try to light everything. And the last one I have to show you is actually a piece of art. And I also bought this one yesterday and I bought this curly spider plant. This spider plant is like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. It has tendrils coming up this way, tendrils coming down this way and then just a couple little tendrils coming over this. And the way that it sits is so freaking gorgeous. Like it is literally, it's just beautiful. It's amazing, it's wonderful. And I paid $21.99 for this. So when I was at the Zamzos yesterday, I purchased this one and the Plow Manny Eye. I purchased these two. And this is called the Chlorophytum Camosum Bonnie. So people just call them the Bonnie spider plant or curly spider plant. I am a massive fan of curly spider plants. I cannot get enough of them. It is so hard for me to not buy them every single time I see them. It's amazing. And I wanna do something really fun with this because it's just, it's too good to be true. It, it sits like a bonsai. Like it kinda looks like a piece of art. Those are plants that I bought this month. And then I'm gonna show you a recap of the plants that I bought at the very beginning of September, but then chose to put in my haul for July and August. So one of them is going to be this huge pink princess. My mother purchased this uh, and hers is actually off to the side over here next to me. Super, super, super gorgeous. It's huge. I'm air layering it uh, so that it will grow in faster. <laughs> and I am incredibly impatient. I'm super excited to see what it does. My variegated string of hearts. So in the middle of this pot, I had, I purchased one variegated string of hearts. I put it right in the middle. And then around the side, I filled in with the string of hearts I already have. And it is doing really good right now. It is growing out of its mind. And I do keep it more up like this. I don't know why. I just feel like they always do better like this. Pretty. Then my strawberry shake. I did show this to you before. This is also being air layered and I potted my other strawberry shake with it. We got a new leaf. It is, the variegation is still hardening in, but it is there. Even though you can't see it. And then the plant is still gorgeous and it is giving a new leaf, which I'm so excited to see the new leaf after this like full moon cream one. We have the pink splash sport. This one was a sport that I found in a pot of normal pink syngonium when the these leaves come in the green is like super faint and the red is hot pink and then it'll fade to kind of a more like i don't know like a more normal pink but uh when they first come in it is hot 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 pink and it is really really pretty and i love it i don't know i just i love syngonium syngonium are amazing right now and then the last one i have to show you is my Hoya Caudata Sumatra. And I got this at Edwards for $20. <laughs> for buying one this big right now from anywhere, 
you're paying at least 80 to 100 dollars it has a bunch of runners like in new leaves coming in and all the new leaves are coming in um like purple all the new leaves are coming in absolutely huge i'm giving it so much light and i'm giving it a ton of humidity and i missed it in the morning and night as well it's just doing a whole lot and i really really love it i have shown this one to you before but again i just wanted to give you a little update we've talked about all of the plants i purchased or was given by friends or my family in September. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to talk about the overall price that I paid and then I have notes and opinions and thoughts that we're also gonna talk about. So originally when I was tallying up everything, which I didn't plan to do, I just kind of like started thinking like, oh, I should write down how like all the different plants I bought this month. And then I was like, oh, for bookkeeping purposes, I should just tally them because I knew I haven't been tallying any of my plants for this whole year, like anything that I bought because I hardly bought any plants actually. This entire year, I've bought less than 30 plants. March, April, May, June, and August, purchasing no plants at all and being, yeah, purchasing no plants. And then in January and February, I only purchased one plant. Plant. The only months I've purchased plants was July when I purchased eight plants and then in September when I purchased 12 plants. I'm going to tell you about the total. So I've already given you all the prices. I didn't include shipping in some of those prices uh, just because that's kind of like a separate thing. I just wanted to include the price for the plant. So my total including shipping for these plants was just in September $501.23 which when I was tallying up my total last night i was like majorly disappointed in myself to me that's way too much money in um one month and overall my takeaway from that was if i wouldn't spend that money all at once then i shouldn't spend it over the course of a month which is gonna be really helpful for me because I haven't purchased plants in a really long time. I haven't really been into plants. And when I was getting into plants again, I wasn't letting myself buy anything. I just have been completely out of practice. It's not like in 2022 where I was like bookkeeping everything and tracking every cent as I was doing it. Or I would buy any more plants. I would look at how much I had already spent and I had this whole system, but we've effectively gone, oh God, how many months? One, two, three, four, eight months without buying any plants, except for in July which separately in July, I spent $225.09. All of that was from money that I had sold. So I sold a bunch of my plants, like for my, both of my cabinets and then some of my plants that were just like around. I made a ton of money from that, which we put towards rent. And then the little bit of leftover that we had, I spent on getting some plants. So it was like, again, it's a little bit of rationalizing it. That was completely different than this. Other than like YouTube income and then sponsor income, which has been pretty decently okay. It's just, it's uncomfortable. Like $200 in a month on plants for me is like, okay, so if each plant was like $50, that's like four plants or something. But $500, even though it was only across like 12 plants and all of the prices were amazing. We paid $20 for a Caudata, $35 for a Monstera Aurea, $20 for Gloriosum, $94 for a fucking Spiritus Sancti, $80 for an Albo. That Sancti is with shipping, $78 for the Sancti. Albo was 80, the Pink Princess cut was 10, the tie was 25, and Monstera Tie Constellation was $25. The spider plant was average, it was $21.99, and one of the more expensive common plants I bought. The Plamanii was $14.99, but what really kicked up the price by $100, and $25 was the two Mikan's cuttings, which ended up running me $75. And then the Floby, which was also $75. And I actually forgot about those. So I was like sitting pretty, I was like, okay, $300 on plants, not that bad. And then I was like, oh, I bought Mikan's and Floby. <sighs> and those were like the last things I bought as well. So I really like feel like internally I knew better. I was honestly dooming about this last night pretty badly. So when I told Chris about it, because I was like, hey, I'm really sorry because he and I like made a promise we're not going to be spending money on a bunch of stuff and it didn't feel like I was spending a lot of money on stuff because it was very slowly across the entire month and a little bit a couple of these were purchased before September so like the last little bit of August and when I went to him and I was like hey I feel really bad because I didn't realize I was doing this and this is exactly what went wrong in 2020 and 2021 he was like you deserve happiness <laughs> 
and you deserve plants and you sold all your plants and you've sold so much to like help us pay rent and you're pregnant and you just had to have an emergency surgery and you deserve happiness. So do not let yourself feel bad about spending this money on plants because in my opinion, you deserve it. And you know, going forward that we're not gonna be spending $500 on plants every month. He was just so like calm. I was expecting like, Ashley, you literally just did this like a year ago. You cannot keep like doing this. I was expecting to be scolded by my husband, which is like really weird because we're in a really healthy relationship where that doesn't happen at all. So I don't know why I was expecting that. And it's probably just because I was disappointed with myself. It's just embarrassing because this is what I used to do, except I would do this every month. And then it would be like $15,000 like in 2021 or uh, like 5,000 or $6,000 like it was in 2022. But I just have a lot of thoughts about it. And I think that it was really nice <laughs> because all of my friends, like when I told them, they were like, that's literally not bad. Like look at all the plants you got. You got 17 fucking plants and you only spent that much money. Like, and Chris, <sighs> him being like not upset at all and just being like you just deserve this you deserve happiness you deserve your plants it's not like i don't get to you know write them off or anything because this whole thing is my business so i don't know it's just really i literally even wrote on my notes here on my total page Chris was not mad smiley face, which is super cute. So the biggest takeaway I do want to just like reiterate was if I wouldn't spend it all at once, then I won't spend it over the course of a month. So I think that's really important. And then it was my first big month back being into plants. And then I did have some notable moments that I wrote down. My first big notable moment was yesterday. We were at Zamzo's. They had variegated string of hearts that were five foot long hanging baskets for only $47. They were huge and that price is ridiculous. And they don't even sell normal like string of hearts that are that long and big for that price. And I really wanted to buy it because the price was good. And then I learned and I was like, I am not gonna buy plants anymore just because the price is good. I'm only gonna buy them because I like them and I have an attachment to them. Part of the reason I spent so much money in 2020 through 2022, I remembered that I didn't want to do that anymore and just buy plants because of the fact that they were a good price. My mom bought one for herself, but like I already have my big gorgeous one. And this hangs down three and a half feet when I untangle it. The top of the pot is not like this, the plant goes down like half an inch into the pot. So there's like half an inch resting here of just like variegated string of hearts I can just untangle. It's like I already have one. Um, and so I did not buy the variegated string of hearts, which was a big deal. I also did not buy the Monstera Aurea that was at the Zamzos yesterday. They had Monstera Aurea, a huge one. It had like 12 leaves for $300. And I didn't buy it because I had bought this already. I mean, I wouldn't have bought it anyway, but I bought this. And so I'm gonna grow this. I bought this for $35. That's so amazing. That's an amazing price. But a lesser me would have bought the variegated string of hearts and the Monstera Aurea and uh, just spent all of my money because I could. <laughs> and then I saw myself this last week of buying plants, which was right before and then one plant I bought directly after my surgery, these ones. So it was this one and then the two Mikan's cuttings. And then I think the Gloriosum. These ones, I was, I was starting to feel that dread again of like, I need to stop spending, I need to be smart. And then I just kept spending, which was not good. And I was justifying the buying again, like trying to find reasons for like why it was okay, which is not what I want to be doing. And then uh, a huge reason that my plant collection was able to like be rebuilt was specifically because of all of the gifts that Devin's given me. And then like, I, I wrote it down how many plants he gave me. Oh my God, okay. 24 plants within this last year. So for, starting in January and then really mostly through May and April is when he gave me like a fuck ton of plants. Almost all of my plants came from Devin. And I actually thought that my mom bought most of the plants for me because she would buy like a little plant for me here and there. Since she, cause she's been here for a month and a half taking care of me because she was here for a month. She was here for 24 days before my surgery, no 25 and a half days. And then I had my final gallbladder attack, which sent me to the hospital. And then 
they were like, your gallbladder's dead. Um, so they took it out, <laughs> which by the way, the surgery went amazing. And I'll talk about that in like a different video and like knock on wood that the recovery continues to go well. Then she's now been here. She had to extend her trip and cancel her ticket because <laughs> I got my gallbladder attack three days before she was supposed to leave and had my surgery three days before she was like supposed to leave. So she had to cancel her ticket, which she flew here with a one-way ticket. So she finally bought a ticket and she's like, all right, You've been doing great. You don't need me. Everything is good. And then I had my <laughs> time to get the gallbladder out moment. Yeah, so she's going home, I think probably sometime, maybe next week. I don't know when she's going home. I'll be really sad. But I thought that like for the last month and a half that she's been here, I really thought that she bought most of the plants for me, but she actually didn't. She actually bought, I think only five or six plants for me the entire time she's been here. And in my head, she was buying everything which is why like in my videos, I was like, my mom's buying this, my mom's buying this. But I think that it felt like that because she's bought herself almost an equal amount of plants that I bought myself. So she has a hell of a lot of plants here right now. And she's no idea how she's gonna get them home. Uh, but I think we're gonna like go get her a suitcase and then like package them. Closing thoughts here. This month I purchased or was given 23 plants total. And before I got those plants, I had 73 plants. So I think that we are just about crossing over into having over hundred plants again, which is unique. And I'm sitting here literally surrounded by plants. Like there are so many plants. I have a couple things I need to like move around. Like I need to reorganize this area. Now that I have more plants, it's getting more, it's just, it's getting crowded and I don't want things to look crowded. I want things to look cute. So I'm going to turn in this area like over here, um, which is also going to have a luminous grow light. The but I'm, I'm really happy with all of the plants that I got and I don't regret any of them except for maybe the Paradise of Verde, which is only $7. So, but I don't know. That's like a super fancy venti coffee at Starbucks, which I can have now that my gallbladder is not in my body anymore. So I think that that's everything. Um, that is all of the plants that I bought and how much I spent on them and a huge, huge, huge plant haul. I like doing these videos. I think that they're fun. I think it's more substance than a normal haul. Personally, I like love knowing how much people paid for plants because it helps me gauge how much I should be spending on my plants. Because if someone's able to find like, if I only see Monstera Albos for like $500, but then someone's like, oh, I paid 50 bucks or 30 bucks for this. then I'm like, oh shit. Okay. So I'm just like looking in the wrong place, but yeah. And I did a bunch of work for this. I like wrote down I wrote, I went through, oh my gosh, you guys, I spent this like two hours today combing through all my YouTube videos and writing down all the plants I bought this year. And I, I have this whole list and I have a key code and everything for like what was a gift and what was a purchase and what's dead. Yeah, I don't know, it was good. So, and then I started, I started my 2023 plant expenses page here because I have not been keeping track. That is everything. You know, right now really is the time to buy. Like plants are so incredibly inexpensive right now. It's kind of ridiculous. And I feel like plant prices are going back up. And so I'm not saying, oh my God, go buy plants feverishly and spend all your money. But I am saying be mindful because I think plant prices are gonna go back up here really soon. I think a lot of people are still waiting for them to keep coming down. And I do think some plant prices will keep coming down, but I do think that other plants are at their lowest right now and are about to go back up. And what has brought me to that conclusion is literally the Gloriosa. And um, the variegated monster at Insania is, yeah, both of those. Oh, and Pink Prince, no, not Pink Princess. I don't know. There's just a couple plants right now that are kind of giving me the ick. That's it. And thank you so much to Zim for sponsoring this video. Just a reminder, these are the Rhea pair, R-H-E-A, and in my link tree and also in the description, you can go and see all of my favorite glasses and shop all of them and look at all of them. And it's really nice. And I love Zimf. Zimf is great. I've been literally only wearing Zimf glasses since 2020. So it's been over three years and I love them. My favorite pair is Aphrodite. If you're curious, that's the one I wear all the time. Officially been filming for an hour right now and uh, that's it. I will see you guys in the next houseplant section, I guess. Or not, because we're not buying plants anymore. <laughs> yeah. Bye. <laughs>